Hey guys, K3 Seller here, back at you with another Thrift With Me video. Today we're going to hit up five or six thrift stores and see what we can find. So let's cut to the clips real quick. Here is thrift store number one for this video. This is Purple Cow in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I pick up three bags of toys at this store. They were all two bucks each. I only show this bag and the My Little Pony bag right there in the summary. I don't show the little strawberry shortcake dolls, which is the other bag of stuff, but I do have them listed. None of them have sold yet. They've been listed for like a week or two now. Maybe I need to go in there and lower the price, or maybe it's just, you know, not the, maybe it's then at the best sell through rate. But those are three items to pick up this store. I keep, I show you around for the rest of the stuff. Every once in a while, I'll pick up decent stuff here. I picked up some electronics here before. I picked up shoes. I picked up hats. It's just random sometimes what they have. Uh, electronics are usually down there to the right. All the toys are in the back right of the store so that's it for this thrift store so at this thrift store y'all saw me pick up uh, some decent items uh, all these my little pony dolls these are like g1 i believe like the little pink one i don't remember the names at this point i have them listed for i think i have these listed for like 55 bucks i paid two bucks for each bag of stuff uh put one big lot of the my little pony ones up i think i put one individual one up i think i put this little gal up by herself for like 20 to 25 but they're not worth as much as I thought they were going to be. Like, I thought, oh, Generation 1, they're going to be good stuff. Like, these had, like, 1982, 1983 on them. But still, 50 bucks, 2 into 50 is not bad. And then, I haven't actually listed this yet. I listed some clothes. Actually, I have listed it. I haven't listed this big bag of clothes. But I listed some individual lots. I'm not sure if they're in this tote. I think they're in a different tote. But, there's one of them. Like, some of the outfits are worth 20 to 25 each. Like, this one's probably worth around 20, I think. But these are all uh, Fisher Price, Fish, Fisher Price, not Price, clothes for Molly, Jenny, Audrey dolls. So these are like old dolls from like 19, the 1980s. So and the rest of all the 1980s stuff there, I had to pick it up, uh, the My Little Pony and the clothes. So some decent profit, turning four bucks into at least a hundred bucks, probably even more than that once it's all said and done. Moving on to thrift store number two. This is St. Vincent de Paul in Baton Rouge. Shoes here are decently priced. These were between three and five bucks for most of these pairs. I picked up three or four pairs. I don't actually show the Allen Edmonds, which are I'm about to show right here. So I'm going to talk about them a little bit here. These are probably worth around 50 or 60 bucks. Allen Edmonds shoes. I think they were eight maybe bucks here. I'm not sure exactly the price, but uh, six bucks. So not bad for Allen Edmonds shoes. They haven't sold yet. They're like loafers. I do uh, pick up, like I said, three or four pairs and I do put back like two i think i put back maybe that one i just showed you but this store i like it for shoes every once in a while i'll find some really nice shoes here just depends there's also a plush section which i think i'm about to go to the clothes here they used to put all the new clothes on a rack and it was easy to sort through them but now they changed it to where they just put them out on the floor instead of putting them in a separate section which stinks but here's the plush i found that uh pj sparkles bear here that one time the bear that sold for like two hundred dollars I actually don't pick up any plush in this video. If you see something that looked interesting, let me know. I've tried to... These are usually here, they're like a dollar or two, so I'm a little bit weary of buying plush at this thrift store because it costs a lot more than the 50 cents that I'm used to. So all I pick up are the shoes at this thrift store. As you all saw in that clip, I picked up a decent amount of shoes. I only picked up three or four pairs total. I had put a lot more in my cart, but I took a couple out because I just looked them up and they weren't really worth it. But look at the tread on these. These are really nice shoes. Really nice shoes. Uh, I think I paid between three and five bucks for the Brooks. So these are probably worth 30. They're not really worth as much as I was hoping they would be worth. Uh, these shoes are worth around the same 30 to 40 bucks. And this is plus shipping, I believe. These are the best. <laughs> these Adidas or Adidas shoes. These are bigger. They're... Uh, I think they're Kobe-inspired shoes. I did do the shoe test where you're supposed to do that, you know, make sure the soles aren't going to fall apart. So if you ever buy shoes and you're wondering if they're in good condition or not, just go, press up on the toe like that, do a little bit of a shake back and forth to make sure it's not cracking or anything. <laughs> but all these shoes were in good condition. Uh, these were more. These were like, I think, 16 to 18 bucks. But these sell for like 70 to 80 bucks. So probably... Uh, you know, 80 bucks in profit on these three pairs of shoes. And I think I had one more pair that I don't have right here. I think I bought the Nike that I showed in the video, but I didn't actually uh, show it. I don't have it to show in the video, but yeah, that's it for that thrift store. On to the next one. This is a short clip so showing some Lego that I bought at a thrift store. I'll talk about them more in the summary, but I pick up 
four or five different pieces of Lego at this thrift store. And here, I'm gonna talk about them. At this thrift store, you also might pick up these Lego. Pick up like five or six of these Lego. The uh, Scooby-Doo wasn't complete, unfortunately, so it's really not worth uh, the four or five bucks I paid for it. This one I paid $18.95 for. It's the Lone Ranger uh, Silver Mine Shootout. I paid $18.95, but I think it'll be worth probably 50 or 60 bucks. The other ones, uh, the Lego minifigure Star Wars ones, Advent, those are probably 20 to 30 dollars somewhere in that range and the other one i don't remember exactly what it was but uh some little value there but this is the main value is these minifigures is where the money's at always mainly always for lego you can't get a complete set this one's not complete but uh, i think it'll still sell for 50 or 60 bucks so not a bad pickup for 19 dollars here's the next thrift store i see this box that ha says sewing on it i decided to open it up and see what's in it and look blue molds Unfortunately, if you can see right there, as I'm pointing it out on most of these, there is some kind of damage on them. I'm going to talk about that more in the summary as well. There's one or two that don't have any damage, which is why I do pick that up for six bucks. Also pick up this cool little, I guess, sign or whatever you want to say, whatever it is. These books were definitely the best pickup out of the, from this thrift store. All three have already sold for pretty good money. So I don't, I guess someone must have, and there was no writing in them either. It was like, it was a study book and an exam review book so i guess the person that bought them decided not to use them or i don't know what the case is either way i like them i was going to pick that little guy up but you can see the damage on the nose and i really didn't feel like trying to go about cleaning it and this thrift store is four for two dollars so i'd have to find four other ones to make it four for two dollars and i didn't really see any other ones in that uh, bin and then this thrift store is the one where they say Oh, the big ones don't count as four for a dollar, which is why they probably have so many. Always looking for flatware, silverware. This brand didn't stick out to me, and I don't feel like searching through all of them to try and find the rest of them. If it's a big set, I will buy it because it's easier to source, and you know you have all of them right there. But digging through a bin like that, trying to find the correct ones, is just not fun, usually. I do pick up that little thing as well. I don't talk about it in the summary, so we'll talk about it right here. Paid seven bucks, sells for around 40 to 50 bucks. It's Merida from Brave. It's a little Precious Moments, I think. So it's actually worth uh, some money, which I was kind of surprised about. But yeah, paid eight bucks for that. So this is the store. Y'all saw me pick up all the uh, blow molds. These things, unfortunately, as you saw in the video, most of them have some kind of damage to them. <laughs> of course, the one I pull out doesn't. This is one of the wise men. He doesn't have any damage, but he might he might have just gotten some right there. Uh, this one has a missing face. I'm not going to show every single one, but uh, the only good, the good one that, the reason I picked it up was Baby Jesus. I paid $5.99 for the whole box of them. This one sells for $20 to $30, somewhere in that range. So just based on this one, I decided to pick it up. Uh, I doubt I will sell the other ones because they're damaged. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just put them as a big lot and say for repair and then say that, you know, there's two that are in good condition. But I still picked it up. It was actually in a sewing machine box, which is why no one actually looked at it, I think. But I also picked up this. Probably going to give it to my dad. I don't know if he really would want it or not, but it's North Carolina. is his the state he's from. He grew up there until he was 18 when he moved to Alabama. Uh, and then he wound up in Louisiana, obviously. But yeah, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm not sure if it's like cutting board. I don't think it's a cutting board. I think it's just like a wood piece. But those are the two items I picked up. Or the items I picked up. I also picked up all three of those books. If you watch the What Solds, I think I sold two in the last What Sold, and one's coming up in Monday's What Sold. So, yeah. Uh, each book I paid a do two dollars, three dollars for. The hardback was three. The paperbacks were two. Both pay all three books sold for around forty three bucks plus shipping each on. Amazon. So that's why I love Amazon so much is books. Books are so easy to sell on there. You just scan the barcode and list them. And yeah, I turn, I'm turn. i going to turn six bucks for the blow molds. Let's say seven bucks for the books. And then this was three. So at 16, let's just call it $20. Going to turn into at least $200 probably once it's all said and done. Here's the reality of thrift store shopping. <laughs> I went into a Goodwill and I saw all these figures sitting there. I was like, oh, this is going to be good money. You know, these are going to be really good. They're really cool looking. And I saw the price tag on them, $7 each. I did my best to search all these on Google Lens, which is an app you can use to take a picture of the item and then 
look it up, basically. It'll show you a picture and tell you who the figure is, and you know you can kind of get a guess of what it is. But yeah, and then I was looking at this, I was like, oh, maybe I'll find a bowling ball like Kayla found. Who's going to pick her? Kayla found a bowling ball worth like $200. So I was like, oh, maybe this will be a good one. It wasn't. <laughs> but I did pick up one item here. It was a hockey set. I don't think I actually showed it in the video. But yeah, let's cut to the summary and talk about the reality of shopping in a thrift store. And sometimes you just, sometimes you go home empty handed and you don't find anything at all. So in this clip, y'all saw all those action figures. Those were all like Lord of the Rings. I think they were all Lord of the Rings figures, I think. But I I saw those sitting out. They were all seven bucks each. So that immediately made me not that eager to buy those. It takes a lot of work to look up items like that. Now I can look, you know, I looked on the feet. I did my research on them and I actually didn't buy a single one of them. None of them, they were going for like 10 to 15 bucks free shipping. And that's just not worth it to me to pay seven dollars for. If I was at a yard sale and I could get all those for a dollar each, sure, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd put them all in a lot, or you know, I don't know if I'd put them on whatnot. I don't really trust whatnot to give me a value. Obviously, if I started started at five bucks per figure, then I could get the value out of it. But then no one's gonna buy anything. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I only picked up one thing there, and it was the little. I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. It's a little hockey hockey like table hockey set that i paid like five or six bucks for and i think i can part it out and get probably 30 to 40 bucks but i just wanted to show this clip in here to say that i don't always find items <laughs> i'm only i usually only show videos where i find stuff i found one item at this thrift store but it really wasn't worth very much i went to four or five thrift stores yesterday and didn't buy a single thing now if i'd spent more time i'm sure i could have found like clothing that was probably worth it but I'm mainly going for hard goods when I go to thrift stores. I don't want to. I don't spend two to three hours in a thrift store at a time. So, yeah, that was just showing y'all a little bit of the reality of going to thrift stores. You don't always find stuff, and when you do, make sure you look it up if it's going to cost you seven bucks per item. Make sure you uh, do your research and don't just buy it and say, I mean, if I bought all those, how many do you think were there? Twenty to thirty, two hundred dollars. No, that's not a risk I'm willing to take. But on to the next thrift store. So I went into this Goodwill, and the first thing I saw on the new little carts was Bose. Immediately, I know Bose is a great brand to pick up. You ever see Bose, you pick it up and look it up. Uh, put it in your cart. I was going to do like a filming, walking up to it and picking it up, but then I was like, I can't risk that. I can't risk someone else picking it up. So that's the one item from the thrift store, but wait till you hear the uh, value of that item. And this is the, it was on that little cart right there. I picked it up and then went around and started filming. I didn't see anything else on the carts that day. Usually the carts are the best place to find stuff, but yeah, just wait until you hear the value. It's Bose Wave 4. It's a major, major bolo, and I paid, as you saw on there, $39.99 plus tax, so 44 bucks. The best bolo for this video is this thing right here. This, if you don't know this brand, brand it into your brain. <laughs> see what I did there. <laughs> This is Bose Wave Sound Touch 4. So it even comes with the remote. I tested it in the store. Y'all saw me pick that up. It was just sitting there in the store, like on the new cart. I've gone to that, I go to that store almost every day now at the end of the day. That's when they always, they always have the carts put out. But yes, this is the Bose Wave Touch 4. It's the newest model, I believe. Maybe not, but it looked like the newest one. It's worth a lot of money. So it, this little thing right here, if you can see it, I'm not holding it up correctly. You probably can't even read that. I'll read it for you. It's the Bose Sound Touch Pedestal model 4122534. Two, <laughs> this thing's worth about 100 120 bucks by itself. Obviously, the main money is in this, the Bose. This thing is worth at least $500 when you consider everything put together. And that's profit. I have it listed right now for $650. This was a major score at a thrift store. Imagine that, a thrift store. <laughs> I remember seeing uh, Kayla pick one of these up in her vid in one of her videos, and whenever I saw the bows, I was like, how is this still sitting here? <laughs> there is no way this is still sitting here at the end of the day. But it was, and I got it, and it worked. I tested. I was able to test it in the store as well, so I knew it worked because I tested it in the store. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment with your favorite item, I don't see how it's not going to be this unless it's just like a sentimental item that I picked up, like the My Little Pony dolls, maybe if you had those when you were a kid. 
maybe those will be the your favorite item because it have to be based on value obviously but yeah and uh subscribe if you're not subscribed thanks for watching